Yo, what's going on guys? As you may notice, I've kind of slowed down on doing all the rebalanced characters. There's a few more left. Um, I believe Eustace, Silva, Zamalina, Zahamalina, whatever her name is. And I think that's about it actually. Oh, Sarna. So we're almost done. I'm, oh, and uh, Christmas Rose Queen or Christmas Rosetta. So I'm almost, I'm about halfway done, so. Today we'll be looking at Kaliostro. Um, little note here, this is my first ever surprise ticket unit, I believe. Either a surprise ticket her or a beginner ticket. I don't remember which, but she was the second SSR I've ever gotten. So I'm guessing it's my beginner ticket. But it's been so long that pff, I don't remember. Anyway, this old man, old female, what else? Lolly, whatever you want to call this, this thing has gotten a couple new things. First off, she gets a boost to all allies' earth attack up on her Ogi and a boost to Kaliostro healing specs. I thought the healing specs are supposed to be to everybody, but I'm guessing it's only to her. Uh, but she does get earth attack up, therefore she's another earth attack buffer. I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, earth has quite a few earth attack buffers, but uh, I mean, you can never go wrong with more, right? So. I just, I just wish it was something that wasn't Earth Attack. Uh, I feel like Earth Attack is a little bit oversaturated between Octo, Yugen, Kaliosro. There's probably more. I'm just not thinking about it off the top of my head. Now, another thing that's oversaturated is that she gains a Earth Defense down on her skill one. However, she applies both Defense and Earth Defense down. I'm pretty sure my hero does the same thing. Like the exact same thing. Um, I, I let, let me just go check to be sure. You know, I'm pretty sure my hero does the same thing. And the fact that my hero is getting a full limit break in about one, uh, two months from now, I, I, I think they, I think they kind of should have did something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah, I, I. Probably should have added something else that was not Earth Defense down, just to make her a little bit different to my hero. Now her skill two, believe doesn't really change too much. Oh, never mind. Haha, <laughs> lied. Okay, so she gets reverse Ouroboros. Um, reverse Ouroboros was, if I remember correctly, it's the same skill on the Dark Kaliostro. Pretty sure. Um. And you get one Wasteland Crest. So now we have another Crest Builder on Earth besides Medusa. So you can run both of them together and stack up your Crest really quickly. Also, if you have her at five stars, she gains the boost to critical hit rate and keen effect. Pretty much making her a poverty water Kaliostro. Um, one benefit is that she does not take five Crest to get a massive buff but she doesn't gain like the 50% bonus damage and damage cap up. So she doesn't require qu uh, Crest to get her maximum potential, but it's not nearly as strong as what, you know, the other, the other variant can do. So it's a good and a bad. Her skill three, I believe sees no change, JK. Um, so it used to be restore all allies HP and refresh. Now it's restore all allies HP and clear. So it's only one debuff. Oh yeah, now I remember her skill two is to give clarity and a buff. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I like I have not used Kaliostro in, in quite a long time, so I'm just refreshing what I see on UBF Wiki. Now world's cutest does see a change. It used to give 10% boost to debuff resistance. Now it's boost to Earth Allied critical hit rate based on the number of Wasteland Crest in the sub ally. This is the exact same skill as the Water Kaliostro. If you haven't noticed, they have quite a bit of similarities that they took in from her. So, and Spirit Body really doesn't change at all. So, that's cool. And with the go uh, do a fight with her. I'm running the Dark Kaliostro outfit because I like that one a lot. Oh, you know what? Let's run the Christmas one. Cause we have Christmas Ardumea. Let's just change that really quick. 
Where is this? You got so many outfits, my dude. What the? You got a million TM. I know you like her, bro, but Jesus, you got too many outfits, bro. She's looking like Vera over here, bro. <laughs> the only difference is that she's not in like every element, um, like Vera. So, yes, I think. I'm just gonna leave that really quick. Sky Dome. We're gonna take on Leviathan, I guess. Leviathan's fine. Mm. Now, one thing I will mention is that her reverse Ouroboros would affect more in Magna than it would benefit Primal, as it should be a normal modifier. So, if for her buff, it's stronger if you're a Magna user. Um, the pool I'm using is Primal, unfortunately. If there was a magnet pool here, I'll probably try it out. I, I think I have a magnet pool on another account, but the problem with it is that it does not have hangman at max limit break, so it kind of hurts you a little bit. I think I'm pretty sure it does it. I have to go check. Uh, what party was it? This one? Um, I took Arlumea and Dante of this staff team, and I thought, you know, I'm going to run a staff comp. We run Alex here. Double Titan's not really worth it with this comp. So, there's no point in running yet. Oh! I still have... I've still forgotten to turn back on crew buffs. Uh, whoopsies! But one good thing here is we can see how strong her heal is. Um, with the recover boost. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh... I was thinking I shouldn't have done that, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Let's check here. Right, so she doesn't have debuff success nodes, so if she's gonna have a hard time hitting her debuffs, it won't be as consistent as, you know, all the things. We can use your out here, I guess. You know, I have not used Dante too much, personally. I've used them for like one turn content, but not not really at like a normal fighter. But I see Salt use them quite a bit, so. I should be okay-ish. Yeah, it clears all the debuffs, unfortunately. Um, you dropped Titan. Even though we don't really have much to worry in this fight, to be honest, um, doesn't hurt. I can't tell how strong the buff is right now. We have to, I have to see a turn without the buff. We also running URL right now, so we have quite the layers of buffs on right now. Um, let's see, we auto one more turn. I just want to see what her heal can do with... You know, I just realized I didn't put a Kintana in, this, in the grid. I, I actually forgot, to be honest. So, I was playing, um... Chrysler with this class. So, you main the Kintana, and then I changed it to Warlock. So, I ended up forgetting. We should be able to kill an Ogi. I think a Chain Burst to kill, to be honest. It's like 30 charge bar, right? Yeah, it takes 30 charge bar. Uh, that's unfortunate. Whatever. I guess I could have used Hangman, I guess, or something. Before, I believe, she used to do about 4k, 4.8k 4. heal. I don't know if they increased it. It didn't say that they increased it here, but we'll see. She did, have, she did heal quite a bit, though, back in the day. So, she's gonna heal about what it's here. Yeah, f wow, I got the exact number. <laughs> I may have played this game too much. This would be all buffs, right? Because of gold. Yeah. Arlumade is another character I haven't used for quite a while. I used to use her pre Alex, but then Alex came out and I was like, Arlumea, who? She's still a really good attack debuffer, though. I used her, I think I used her for Granny or something like that. Is it that these characters, you know, they don't have the the 
damage output to be worth running in most content. Just for like casual things. They're, they're still really good for like harder content though. But you know, I mean, when you look at like units like Alex, it's just like, why not just run Alex, right? So, it's always something you have to factor in. The damage is actually pretty dog dude. Not gonna lie to you. And I honestly don't know why. I guess when you have your team healers, right? And <laughs> you're not capping the fence down. I guess you can't really expect too much, now can you? <laughs> okay, now it should be better, right? With like more buffs up, but it's kind of unfortunate that, you know, that their raw damage is not gonna be there. It's an unfortunate fate for them. The life of the healers, right? That you need, you require so much buffs for them to really perform. Now, keep in mind that the grid's not optimal by any, by any means. There's no stamina in this grid outside the Opus. But let's be realistic, most people don't really. Even though Fa has been out for what, about six months now? Not everybody has like awesome break Opus. Especially the Earth Opus, because it was one of the first ones. I think it was the first GW, right? Right after Fa, or was it right before Fa? But there wasn't much time for people to really learn Fa and make it Earth Opus. So not many people have it. If I had to guess, it's probably the lowest Opus right now. Earth and maybe... Hmm, it's probably Earth and... I don't, I don't know the other element, but I, Earth and Wind, if I had to guess, are the lowest right now. If I had to guess. Because the wind was right before GW, went for right before um, Fa, and I think Earth was right after. So if I had to guess right now, they would be the lowest right now. By a considerable margin. Now you have the people who are purists to their elements, right? Who, who would like focus purely on their one element and screw everything else. But that's not everybody. Yeah. It was just, it was mainly the lack of buff with this team. That's all they really need. And defense down. Defense down the big one. Um I think defense down too hard for me, clearly. I'm actually more worried about my hero. Five star when, when I look at Kaliostro. It's the defense down. Like her buff is okay, I guess. But it's really hard for just put a slot for her when my hero's full limit break is right around the corner. I guess for people who don't have my hero, you don't have to worry about that. But when it comes to Magna, Zodiacs are pretty much always gonna be optimal most of the time. So it's really rough when we have a five star Zodiac coming right around the corner for this rebalance for her to really take a spot in any team, especially Magni users. So I, I'm, I'll, we'll see how it goes, but it's gonna be hard. But that's a run with Kaliostro. I think she's, I don't know. I'm a little bit on the, fix, on, on the fence about her. She got new stuff that's cool and all, but it's hard to say she's gonna do anything major. Um, not to mention that she doesn't have any of the cool gimmicks of the new heal clear units where they could auto cast their clarity and heal. Um, if they would have gave her that, I feel like that would have been way better with her skill one than what she got right now with the, the earth defense down. I feel like the earth defense down doesn't really do much. That's my opinion though. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll try to get the other, what, four characters out as soon as possible. Until next time, goodbye.